Hello and welcome. This is Africa in 10 Minutes, where we bring to you the top business news in Africa, courtesy Footprint Africa. I am Mirabel Aleladia, and here are the headlines. Future Energy Nigeria leads discussions on Nigeria's future in power generation. Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, presents 8.6 trillion Naira 2018 budget. Kenya's economy remains resilient despite political headwinds. Country's trade minister assures foreign envoys. In Ghana, policy think tank rolls out new tax compliance platform. Golden Sands Housing Inc. introduces green approach to solving Africa's housing deficit. Now the news in detail. The West African Power Industry Convention, now renamed Future Energy Nigeria, took place on the 7th and 8th of November in Lagos, Nigeria. Attendees witnessed a display of innovative products and participated in panel discussions. Footprint to Africa reports from the event. Take a look. Africa reporting from Future Energy Nigeria, where the future of Nigeria's power generation will be discussed. I'm Chamaka J. Uwadoka. Let's take a look. So, Mr. Jordan, how can your products help bridge the gap with power generation in Nigeria? Okay, thank you. Thank you for the question. Uh, basically, from our side, we, 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 we're bringing to the market the renowned quality um, of Lendis and Gear, which has been proven um, all over the years. Okay, basically, on the other side, we have um, residential smart meters. The meter can be, t can be toggled in between pre STS prepayment or credit uh, metering, which is DL DLMS. It's also available on a, on a, on a three-phase uh, meter and is based on the third generation of PLC. Our customers are mainly in the rural areas. Um, so basically, you know, the rural guys have been neglected. Um, so our customers are in areas where there's no greed. Uh, they've not never seen light before. They receive just uh, politicians' uh, promises. And slowly, after five to ten years down the line, the generator will be phased out. All the generator companies over here who are participating, they will be coming only with solar. The entire idea behind having this facility is to showcase that solar PV technology actually works. You know, contrary to the belief in so much failure of um, solar PV technology over the years um, in, the, in the industry, which has created a very bad image. So this is to showcase that, okay, this technology is available and it works and is practical in Nigeria. So this was, um, was um, designed with the consideration that no grid will be connected as well as no generator will be seen on site. It's uh, good for us to be in tune with the latest uh, innovation which is a trend we are watching. And I was, I've seen some impressive products, you know, that um, I really, uh, really, really like to work with. President Muhammadu Buhari has formally presented an 8.6 trillion Naira 2018 budget to a joint session of the National Assembly. The budget is tagged the budget of consolidation. The budget was 16% increase from the 7.44 trillion Naira appropriated in 2017, Premium Times reported. Mr. Buhari announced that the budget is projected at an all price of $45 per barrel and an estimate of 2.3 million barrels per day. He added that the budget is further projected at an exchange rate of 305 Naira to $1, a real gross domestic growth of 3.5% and an inflation rate of 12.4%. Kenya's economy has remained resilient despite recent political headwinds. Aidan Mohamed, the country's cabinet secretary for the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Cooperatives, has said. Briefing members of the Foreign Correspondents Association of East Africa, FCAEA, on Kenya's state of the economy. CS Mohamed said the country is still a preferred destination for foreign and domestic investors. Furthermore, Mohammed dismissed rumors that a number of local firms had suspended their operations due to political turmoil. To our knowledge, no company has closed shop as a direct result of the prolonged election period, he explained. However, several companies have held on to their investment programs until the elections pass. 
this wait and see approach by investors can only now be elevated by a quick return to normalcy in the country, he continued. Africa Center for Energy Policy, ACEP, an energy policy think tank has outdoored a new digital platform, www.opentaxghana.com, aimed at encouraging tax compliance whilst controlling tax invasion in Ghana. A statement signed by ASEP's Executive Director, Benjamin Boakye, said, Ghana is in a tight fiscal situation that requires improved domestic tax revenue mobilization to reduce dependence on debts for development financing. The move is a partnership between ACEP and the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, supported by the UK's Department for International Development, DFID, and is to increase domestic tax revenue. According to ACEP, it has become necessary for citizens to be fully engaged in supporting the laws and administrative process that deal with the challenges of tax revenue mobilisation in Ghana. The Open Tax Ghana platform therefore seeks to promote voluntary compliance on the part of the public by providing tax education and tax law enforcement through the cooperation of the public. Through the platform, the gaps that allow tax evasion schemes to occur can be identified and addressed as it provides an opportunity for the public to share experiences on practices that deprive the state of tax revenue. In an exclusive interview with Footprint Africa, Sophia Nasho Kigwa of Golden Sands Housing Inc. has said that her company is ready to launch an effective and affordable solution to the market one that will see the housing deficit in Africa reduce drastically. Presently focusing on Tanzania, she said, we aim to reduce Tanzania's 3 million housing deficit by introducing cost-effective, environmentally friendly housing technology, which sees a housing unit being built in one-tenth of the time. Our technology and budget allocation allows us to build four times more houses than our competitors at any given time. We aim to build on average 400 fully functional modern housing units a year. The company has immediate plans to aggressively market the housing solution across Africa with the help of willing investors and strategic partners. That concludes the news of the week. Please stay tuned for a recap of the stories. Future Energy Nigeria leads discussions on Nigeria's future in power generation. Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari presents 8.6 trillion Naira 2018 budget. Kenya's economy remains resilient despite political headwinds. Country's Trade Minister assures foreign envoys. In Ghana, Policy Think Tank rolls out new tax compliance platform. Golden Sands Housing Inc. introduces Green Approach to solving Africa's housing deficits. To keep up with the trending business news in Africa, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and connect with us on LinkedIn. These news reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, log on to www.footprintafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africans.